What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we're going to be doing a Naruto drawing Itachi. Itachi. <laughs> Can't say Itachi. Itachi with his crows, right? So he's in profile looking sort of this way. I'm on landscape orientation paper. Use a pencil and an eraser for these first. You can always ink afterwards. And hit pause when I move my hand if I go too fast, right? So we start with his nose. So center point of my page is about here. Just come up over to the left a little bit. We'll start with his nose. I like to start with the nose when the character's in profile. So we'll just curve a line that way. And then we'll bring it in like so. And his nostril just sort of sticks out here, right? So the brow at the top of the nose comes out like so. Starts to carve around for his forehead, down his nose, just there. So if we know where his brow is, we know where his eyebrow is. So his eyebrow goes just underneath his headband. So the, we'll do the headband first. So the headband curves across here, right? And then the eyebrow is just across from the brow. That's why it's called your eyebrow. And then we go diagonal, up underneath the headband, just in there, right? And it gets kind of skinnier as you go back. And if you want, you can color this dark now, or you can give it dark gray after if you're coloring. <clears throat> All right, so just underneath the eyebrow, then we have his eye. So we go diagonal and then across, and then it curves down the back right here. And you can thicken up the top eyelid line a little bit if you want. And then he could actually have a top eyelid line just coming across here as well. Okay. So then his iris, long ellipse, comes down around like that. And down at the bottom, you could have a bit of eyelid sort of area just there. His pupil then, just a skinny sort of line. Again, look in that direction. And if you want, you can add some sort of Sharingan marks and things. Can't see them all though. <clears throat> right, so we'll go down to his nose and finish the rest of his face. So his top lip, Comes out like so. Comes back into his mouth. So this is his top lip. And then his bottom lip sticks out here. Diagonal down. Comes back in. And then comes down to his chin, which goes underneath his cloak, which comes across here, like the collar of his cloak. But where his bottom lip and his top lip meet, we'll draw in his mouth. So we'll just curve this down that way. So like a downturn, sort of serious kind of mouth. So that cloak cuts off the bottom of his face, right? So it goes, curves across this way. And this will go quite long. And then he has that line on his face here, so it's like that long sort of face line that he has. And then his hair comes down here, right? So I'd say from the top of his headband, right? We'll go down, we'll go up here first and we'll curve it down just along his face. So we've got like some lines here, curve down this way. And this comes back up to there. Another one down like so. Back up. And this one will go underneath his collar. Back up to there. Down like so. Over to there. 
And then we have some more coming across his headband up here, some of his fringe, like so. And then the headband just comes out from there, right? So it comes out, down. That's the bottom. And then the metal plate sort of bulges out a little bit here, so it kind of curves around. And then comes back in, across like so. Then around here. And then we can just see like some bottom line, some pieces of screws or something holding it into the fabric, and then his symbol, so, of the leaf just here. We can just see the tail sort of and some of it, and then the scratch that goes through it, of course. Like so. More hair coming down the front because his head is kind of tilted da down so his hair is hanging. <clears throat> so like goes in behind his collar, with the front, like so. Up to another one at the front here. sticking out here back up and then this will like come around to the back of this collar back here somewhere right so this collar goes a bit longer here <clears throat> and he's got his crows sort of flying out of his his cloak and stuff right so we've got these sort of spikes just on the hood here and this comes down like that let's see so this is the red, and then the front of his collar comes out and down this way. Right, so then the back of his head is like in here somewhere. So like his ponytail. And then his ear is in there somewhere, but we'll do the shape for his head first. Right, so this comes around real big, right? Bigger than you think. Because like, if you look at a human's head from the side, it's quite long, especially with when you put hair on top of it. You know, the hair would probably be about this thick, so like the back of his skull is probably here somewhere. And then we have his ear, of course. So that ear and hairline. So ear it lines up with. Say the bottom of his eye. So let's say there. And so just like along that horizontal line. Comes across. Up. And then the top of it would be like in line with the top of the headband, like all the way up here. Maybe there even. Mm, no, maybe at yeah, the top, so. comes out here and then it'll go up yeah, and down back down that way and then bones and ligaments on the inside curves around sticks out like so down to there you can add as much of these ear lines as you like. <clears throat> and then his hairline at the back sort of sticks out here. And then we have his ponytail coming down the back of his neck. Like that. So then his back, right? So we've got like all these crows coming out, right? So we've got some gaps like in his sort of his cloak, right? So like here. So we'll have a crow coming out here. And then we'll go put another one there somewhere. Uh, we we'll keep going down anyway. I can always erase, right? So I'm just leaving some gaps just to make it easier on myself, that's all. But I'll probably have to add some more as well. Oh, 
one like so there spikes down this way like this right there's like a bird coming out here there's another bird here somewhere but where to put it like across here like here I'll put one coming out this side and then the red line for the front of his cloak so it comes down this way and then curves down like so follow that it's a double line so you just go down <clears throat> to there and he has that you know that white and red cloud so it curves down like so Around to there, and then we have another white line on this side, like that. That's all red and white on the inside. And you could have like another faux line for his collar or something there. Right. So then all those crows that are sort of flying around him. Right. So coming out from his cloak, this one. Say we've got like wings. are kind of jaggedy on the bottom and you just carve down so there's all feathers and things flying around as well so we'll just do the main birds in first and then we'll add the feathers and stuff so there's another one coming out say here like sort of becoming a crow so it doesn't even have a head <laughs> comes down like so comes back in zigzag on the bottom of the wings to there and this comes up and the tail comes down back up into there and then there's another one coming out this side so out like so and we can see like a head and a beak here this goes up to his wing back down like so and then his tail to there like that Right, we just keep adding these. So another one, another tail sort of line here. This goes down to a wing, back up. And you can do these real sketchy. You don't have to be too precious about it. You know, they give it loads of energy. That way. And another one sort of here. You're just sort of getting the shape, sort of making them kind of look like semi sort of birds. And then put another one here. This guy like has his head cut off or something like there, and then so you're kind of just drawing semi crow shapes. Tail 
So I'm not describing very well what I'm doing, but I'm just, they're kind of just these weird shapes. It's hard to, it's hard to describe them really. They kind of look like crows. <laughs> um, so we'll say like another one here. So this one's like, How to draw Atachi with his crows. Itachi with his crows. Step one, draw Atachi. Step two, draw the crows. You're welcome. Um, another sort of shape here. All right, so that's like all the main bird shapes. So then you kind of just do black sort of flame like sort of these kind of chakra sort of shapes but they're like bird feathers or like birds in the distance maybe like far away or like real small ones you know like this kind of thing sort of the batman symbol <laughs> Do as much of this now as you want, really. There, some more here, another one there. And remember, yours don't have to be exactly like mine. You can place them any any way you want really because they're moving in space so you know if you wanted you could fill the whole sort of area But I won't, I won't fill the whole thing, it'd take too long. Make the video crazy long. Let's see. Right, I think that's everything. That's how to draw Itachi with his crows. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one, bye.